There's always a habitat to, uh, to watch. This morning, their sights are set a little higher. Well, these guys certainly in this little construction project that we've been watching is keeping us uh, entertained. A couple of Ospreys. They're busy building. Have decided to make the north side of this east end sign. Not something you see often. Home. I wonder how many people from the highway here notice this. Well, a lot of you noticed it as well. Remember, remember that story back in April? We hung out with Larry and Marlene Norman there as they sipped their grand grande pikes, that is. And they watched two Osprey build a, well, a grand new home on the top of that sign. At the, ho at the time, we thought it was a peculiar perch for a nest, right next to the traffic of a highway and the traffic of a Starbucks drive through But months later, the nest was confirmed fortunate for the fish hawks. Bobby Moeller sending us these pics of the off Osprey offspring back in July. Three of them, apparently, and one proud papa there, or mama, can't tell which. Anyway, last week, one of those young ones got themselves caught in a bit of a tangle with its own nest. So someone noticed again and being a good neighbor, they called for help. Who would you call to help an Osprey? Well, someone from Eagle to whom rescue is routine. Any call for help, especially those involving animals, is usually a call directed to the fire department. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, the ducklings, you guys see the ducklings all the time, right? In the springtime, it's <laughs> we're on duck, duck, season. duck calls all the time. <laughs> For Eagle firefighters John Ford. Were you with us with the raccoon? And Joel Hudson. Um, like four weeks ago? Nope. So four weeks ago, we had a call for a raccoon that was stuck in a fence. Animal rescue is just part of the job. It does happen occasionally. It's, yeah. It just. And people don't know who to call. Yeah, so they I think just it's just. Call us and we go and try to help out. Which is what they did last Thursday when their captain told them about a call concerning one of the ospreys in this nest. We've got a juvenile osprey that's got netting wrapped up in its talons, so we're going to go see what we can do to help out. To help out, Joel and John jumped in the ladder truck. But a banded baby bird of prey and its worried mama. Uh, yes, yeah. that was a big concern that we had. Well, that wasn't their only concern. And then we found a wasp nest was in the nest underneath and so there were wasps flying all around. So outfitted in full gear for protection, they were given direction by the Department of Fish and Game. Number one, try to cover its head so it doesn't think it's being attacked. So I tried to throw you know, our traffic vest over it, but it flapped its wings a few times and its head came out of one of the holes so it was watching me the whole time and then just hold it firm but gently. I'm like, okay. All right, I'm going to try that. It's not exactly what happened, but we got it out it of there worked. all right. It worked. On the ground, Joel handed the bird to a fish and game officer, who took about a minute to untangle the talons. Then Joel and John put the bird back in the nest. And that was it. That was it, yeah. Not really a big deal, except to their kids who saw it on social media. She's like, hey, look what Dad did today. I'm like, Dad, was it, was it cool? Was it heavy? I'm like, yeah, it was. It was really cool. It wasn't heavy at all. I mean, unless you're talking about the weight of being a heat. All right, I won't say it. That's one of the unique things about the job is you truly don't know what you're going to get every day you come to work. You're like, what are we going to go do? We're going to go help an osprey that's stuck in a nest? OK, okay. Right. we'll do our However best. However that goes. <laughs> well, it went pretty well, apparently. The whole operation took about 30 minutes. And while they were there, up there, Joel and John said they were asked to kind of clear out any other loose pieces of the nest that could catch another osprey. They said there was an orange tie down in there. There was some electrician's cord, even a piece of a computer keyboard. These birds just kind of gather everything up, but mission accomplished.